Hey everyone, Multigamemaster1 here, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we confronted Bowser Jr. and defeated his evil mechanic monstrosity known as Mega Leg, um, played some golf on the Rolling Green Galaxy, and discovered our first power star in the Space Junk Galaxy. In this episode, we're actually going to be getting more power stars by actually going back to the Terrace, and some of you may initially be wondering, why am I back in the Terrace? It's because of this. As you can see in the Good Egg Galaxy, there's a speedy comet in orbit, and basically it's going to um, replay an episode, but there, but increase its difficulty. And so, if you complete the challenge, you will get a bonus power star. So let's go and take it. Good Egg Galaxy, speedy episode, Dino Piranha speed run. So um, this time around, well actually, let me just um, touch down on the planet's surface before I explain things. Um, so as that purple Luma said, speedy comets limit the amount of time that you can spend in a certain galaxy such as this one. So given this, I'm not actually going to waste any time in grabbing star bits. I just want to rush for this star right away before time is up. Of course, if you fail to complete the challenge, you will lose a life, so... Ah! So you'll actually just want to move right along. Grab this coin to replenish our health. Star chips. Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Where's the last one? Where's the last one? The what the heck? What? Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it. There. Now, with that, we can- No, 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 no! Oh. Okay. Alright, let's keep on flying. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, we have three minutes left to complete the challenge, so... Let's say we pick things up. Um, normally, I would take the normal path to get to the star, but there's actually a shortcut over here that I was going to show to you later. So this path is pretty much a shortcut. The only thing you have to do is activate all of the flip switches. To... Activate this launch star. Personally, I feel as though that this is a lot more easier and quicker than having to use the original path. What with those chomps in the way as well. I'm gonna get this guy. Just because we have plenty of time. Um, we make our way up there. We fly yet again. to the Dino Piranha that is contained inside the egg. And with only two minutes left, let's just go ahead and hatch him up. Making good progress. He's taking the second hit in, I think it was about five seconds. Uh, one more, we'll bring him down. Yeah! There we go. So, with only a minute and 44 seconds left to spare, let's just grab the power star and leave. One thing to bear in mind as you um as you try to get every single power star if you plan on 100% LPing, if you skip over uh I did not mean to do that. If you skip over a comet, it will disappear for a while, but it, of course it will return. Um if we talk to this Luma, 
we have a galactic map or universe map and there are no prankster comets to be found so I think we can just move on So we're gonna go back to the Space Junk Galaxy now, and I apologize that um that the walk back to the fountain took a bit longer than expected. Um, if it happens again, I'm probably just going to cut the episode until I get to the Dome of Interest. But for now, Episode 2, Camilla's Airship Attack, and we're back in the Space Junk Galaxy. So we have a bunch of airships, especially that one which is oddly colored. We go over here and talk to Toe. Mario! My brigade boarded the enemy fleet and none have returned! As captain, I would go save them myself, but I'm much too busy at the moment. And scared. <laughs> you coward! You pathetic excuse of a leader, we'll do it! So we're going to board the enemy airship. I don't know why that Goomba was just sitting there. But anyway. So we boarded the enemy airship. Uh, let's see what's over here. We have another block. More star bits. And hitting that switch towards the bridge. There's a 1-up mushroom over here. You can actually get it with a spin jump. Just jump and then shake the Wii Remote. But anyway, with that, let's move on. There's an upcoming Vow. Um, if we actually... If we actually get on top of it and do a spin, we have more Star Bits. And over here we have an item of interest, which is a green shell. You can just basically pick it up and shake the weird mode to toss it. And we just used it to open up the treasure chest. There's actually one over there. <laughs> and over there is a Kamek. Really annoying. Launches fire spells at you constantly. Anyway. Used the shell to open the chest and we can actually move on. There's, there was just a coin in that plane. Over there we have a pole star. Let's see if we can reach it. Alright. Down the smokestack we go. Well, we come across a plethora of starbits, which we will take with us. We get back up out. Uh, get back out of the ship. I'm sorry for the grammatical error. And those Octavi that you see over there, they're just going to shoot fireballs at you, so don't even bother waiting on a, on them shooting a coconut. Um, so if we open this chest right here, we have a Super Mushroom. And if we open this one over here, we have a Red Shell. And what you remember from Mario Kart, Red shells can be used to home in on the enemy as soon as it's tossed. So actually we're going to get on top of the ship, where we will meet, for the first time, Camilla, who has a power star inside her wand. This boss is not so hard to beat. Basically what you want to do is wait for her to launch a green shell spell at you, and then use it to toss the spell, or the shell, right back at her. And... Wow, she keeps tossing green shells at us. I'm surprised she hasn't used her other attack. But anyway, um, with two hits, she's going to make it harder for us by spawning Kamex. Oh, green shell, green shell, green shell, green shell, green shell. 
and you want to watch and you want to dodge the fire spells as you well and with that Camilla is defeated and so now we can recover the power star By now I think a... Oh, we discovered another galaxy. Yeah, a prankster comet has appeared yet again in the... In the, um, terrace. And, oh! Enemy base spotted! We're detecting massive energy spikes! What are they doing there? I don't know, but we're gonna find out soon. Um, so... What do I wanna do? Well, I do wanna head back to this terrace and, um... And show you guys the next prankster comet, which is blue. So here we have a blue cosmic comet in the Honey Hive Galaxy. Let's go ahead and investigate. And you won't find prankster comets in those bonus galaxies, the one with the, uh, the one marked with the question mark blocks. So don't worry about them. Anyway, Honey Hive Galaxy Cosmic Episode, Honey Hive Cosmic Mario Race. So we can see the power star at the back of the planet. However, we're not the only ones going after it. This guy is. And it appears to be Cosmic Mario, which kind of looks a lot like Shadow Mario. But um, to get the upper hand against him, you want to hold down the Z button, and then press the A button at the... At the go. Um, if you time it correctly, you can actually get a boost. But I kind of failed on that one, I'm sorry about that. But we can make up for it by taking a shortcut all the way to the star. Which I just did. We go down here. Yeah, you want to beat Cosmic Mario to the star. If you let him beat you, you will lose a life, so be very careful. But we're the first to acquire the Power Star, so now we can keep it. And thus, Cosmic Mario is defeated. For now. So, um, is there anything else that needs to be done? Oh, wow, we, have, we actually have a, um, we actually have a... We actually have a Speedy Comet back at the fountain. Speedy Comet in the Space Junk Galaxy, let's go ahead and hit it. And you guys already know what the Speedy Comet does, so I will not explain it again. But this will be the last Comet, Prankster Comet, that we will tackle, at least for now. Space Junk Galaxy, Speedy Episode, Pole Star Path, Speed Run. Um, for this episode, I'm going to, um, I'm not going to cut the parts out as we made our way between the terrace and the fountain. But, well, the reason being is because, um, I wanted to show you guys how tedious, how tedious it is to go back and forth between fountains. Especially when the Prankster Comet spawns in at the wrong time. But, um, don't worry, in future episodes, I will cut the episode and 
meet you guys at the Dome of Interest, as I said earlier. Anyway, um, we... As you saw earlier, we had a total of 4 minutes to get the Power Star before the Comet... Um... Before the Comet... I guess it completely obliter obliterates everything? I don't know. But anyway, we just want to move right along. Three minutes left. Skipping the enemies. Move over. So we gotta rescue all the toads here. We have toad yet again. Same as the first episode. And if you guys remember what we had to do here, we had to grab all five silver stars. We took our time with it the last time, but now we actually have to rush. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall there. Oh, jeez. So, second verse, same as the first. And with a minute and 35 seconds left, let's just grab the Power Star and go. And I believe that's going to be it for this episode. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Let me just check the map for a second, see if there are any other places we have to go. Uh, no, no pranks are coming. Okay, so this is pretty much going to be the end of the episode. But um, in the next one, we will actually um, head back into the space, gal space junk galaxy and find our last power star. So until next time, I am Multigame Master 1 and I will see you guys next time. Bye.